Rational and irrational numbers. Well, let's start out with definitions, okay? A rational number. A rational number. Main idea. A rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction. A rational number is any number that you can write as a fraction. And I'm going to highlight that because obviously that's one of my main ideas. The unit's titled, or the notes are titled, rational numbers, rational and irrational numbers. So, main idea, rational number is anything that can be written as a fraction. Any number that can be written as a fraction. So I'm going to give you an example. I'm going to ask you. Four sevenths. Is that number a rational number? Raise your hand if you say yes. Four sevenths is a rational number. Crystal, why? Yeah. Duh. If a rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction, four sevenths is automatically a rational number. How do you know? It's already a fraction, right? I mean, it's a fraction. Is a fraction a fraction? Yeah. yeah. This is a fraction. Four sevenths is a fraction. In case you've forgotten over the weekend, a fraction is made up of a numerator and a denominator. Just in case you need a refresher. <laughs> so is four sevenths rational? Yes. yes. Why is it rational? Because it's a fraction. It's a fraction. And the definition of a rational number is anything that can be written as a fraction. Since it's already a fraction, we don't have to do a whole lot of thinking. Easy enough, right? What about this? Eight thirds. Is eight thirds a rational number? Raise your hand if you say yes. Cameron, why? Because it's a fraction. It's a special kind of fraction. It has a different name. It's not just any old regular fraction. It's improper. It's an improper fraction, but guess what? It's still a fraction. So is it rational? Yeah, because... A rational number can be written as a fraction, and guess what? It's a fraction. So in case you forgot improper, it means that the numerator is greater than the denominator. But it doesn't matter.
matter that it's improper. All that matters is can it be written as a fraction? Well, yeah, it already is. So what kind of numbers are rational? Fractions. Improper fractions. This seems kind of easy, right? All I have to do is remember the definition of a rational number. The definition of a rational number is any number that can be written as a fraction. So four sevenths, it's a fraction. Yeah, it's rational. Eight thirds, it's improper. It's a fraction. What about this one? Three and one fourth. Is it rational? Yeah. Why? Can it be written as a fraction? It already is. What's it called? It's a mixed number, or you could convert it back into an improper fraction, but a mixed number is a whole number and a fraction. And it's an obvious duh moment. Is this, can three and one fourth be written as a fraction? Yes. Yeah, it's already a fraction. <laughs> so what kind of numbers make ira or make rational numbers? Fractions. All kinds, right? Improper fractions, mixed numbers, regular fractions. What about the number 10? If the definition of a rational number is anything that can be written as a fraction, and I give you the number 10. Can you write 10 as a fraction, Kevin? 10 over one. So is 10 rational? Yes. yes. It's called an integer. And an integer is a positive or a negative number. So 10 can be made into a fraction, 10 over one. What about the number negative eight? Can you make negative eight? into a fraction. It's an integer. Can you make negative eight into a fraction? Don't overthink it. Emily? Yes. How, what do you do? Negative eight over one. Negative eight over one. Bam. It's a fraction. Can you make the number zero? into a fraction? Yeah, what do you do? Zero over, one. Zero over one. So what kind of numbers make rational numbers? Anything that can be made into a fraction. Obviously a fraction can be made into a fraction. Duh. Improper fraction. Already a fraction. Mixed number. Already a fraction. Integer. 
I mean, no one goes around saying 10 over 1, but you could. It's a fraction. Kevin. I can't hear you. Yes, an integer has to be a whole number, positive or negative whole number. All right, what about this one? 0 0.7. This is what's called a decimal, right? So before we go anywhere, let's define decimal really quickly. So we have decimal. And a decimal is considered part of a whole. Right, like if my whole is a dollar, 0.7 isn't quite one, it's more than a half. If I had 10.2, that's more than one, but it's not close to two, right? It's part of a whole. It's not an entire whole number. Like 10 is a whole number. It's an integer. It's part of a whole. Can you make a decimal into a fraction? Can you make a decimal into a fraction? Eduardo, can you? What do you do? If you read it correctly, you can make it into a decimal. I mean, into a fraction. Don't say 0 0.7. If you read it correctly, that really says 7 tenths. And is that a fraction? Let's practice. 2.18. How do you make that into a fraction? It's a rational number. I know it's a rational number because I can make it into a fraction. Well, what is the fraction, Chris? Oops, I forgot how to spell. Not 18 tenths, 18 what? Yes. Two and 18 hundredths. Yes, I know it can simplify, it's okay. Ladies and gentlemen, so far we've done a lot. We already know a lot. Rational numbers can be anything written as a fraction. So what kind of numbers does that include? It includes fraction fractions. It includes improper fractions. It includes mixed numbers. It includes integers, positive or negative numbers, right? It includes decimals. Just read it correctly. It also includes some special decimals. It includes uh, repeating decimals. What can you tell me about repeating decimals? For example, Zero point one two one two one two one two one two dot dot dot. That's a repeating decimal. What makes that a repeating decimal? Kalia, what makes it a repeating decimal? 
perfect. It repeats the same pattern forever. That's what that dot, dot, dot means. It has to be the same pattern. Is there a special way that you could write 0 0.12121212121212 dot dot dot? It's a repeating decimal. I know it. There's a repeating pattern. I see it. The dot 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 means that it goes on forever. Maddie, what do you do? What do you put above? Um, a line just like above the, what? Above the one. You find what repeats and write it down. Twelve. Yeah. And since the twelve repeats, you draw a bar over it, which is bar notation. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, repeating decimals are also rational numbers. Repeating decimals. Not just decimals, but repeating decimals. If they repeat the same pattern forever and ever and ever, it's a rational number. So fractions, improper fractions, mixed numbers, integers, decimals, repeating decimals. Here's some more examples of repeating decimals in case your memory needs to be jogged. Zero point three 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 dot dot dot. What repeats? The three. It has a pattern and it repeats. That would be a rational number. What about this one? Negative nine point six 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 seven dot dot dot. I'm telling you right now that's a repeating decimal. You're telling me, uh, lady, it changes. But I'm telling you it's a repeating decimal. Anyone know why it changes and I'm still saying it's a repeating decimal? It quite obviously changes. It goes from six to seven, that's a change. I just said they repeat the same thing forever. This changes, but I'm still standing here confident that's repeating. Gabe, why? No, this should, it's going to be six after here. If it kept going, it'd be six. But why did I put a seven there? Jordan, help him out. What did I do? I rounded. Your calculator is going to round. So if it does that, just one number off, forget that last number. Now if it said 7-7, seven, seven, you can't ignore two in a row. But that last number tends to round up. That's what your calculator does. So this is still a repeating decimal. What about this guy? What pattern did I use? What repeats? What repeats, Brett? 872. Let's look. 872, 872, 872, 8. What happened? Where'd my 7-2 go at the end? What happened, Maddie? Uh, yeah, I ran out of room. So could I forget this last one too? Yeah. I mean, 
So, all right, let's talk this through. If rational numbers are any number that can be written as a fraction, and all of these fractions, improper fractions, mixed numbers, integers, decimals, repeating decimals, they all fit in that category. Well, what do you think the definition of irrational is? If rational is any number that can be written as a fraction, what's irrational? Let's hypothesize. What do we think irrational means? If rationals are any number that can be written as a fraction, what do you think irrational numbers are, Carver? Any number that cannot be turned into a fraction. Perfect. An irrational number, by definition, is any number that cannot be written as a fraction. And I'm going to give you a hint, because you might be sitting there thinking like, well, what can't be written as a fraction? That doesn't make any sense. Like, I, it's pretty easy to be like, oh yeah, these rules. Like, a fraction is obviously a fraction. But like, how do I know if a number can't be made into a fraction? That seems impossible to tell. Like, am I going to have to guess every number? No. Here's your hint. They are non-repeating and never ending. Irrational numbers are non-repeating and never-ending. And you know something that fits this category. Non-repeating and never-ending. Kevin, what fits this category? Pi. The number pi is non-repeating and never-ending. Uh, 0 0.9876543321 dot dot dot. Is there a pattern? Yes. There's a pattern. Eight, seven, it's counting down, right? But does it repeat? Do not get confused between patterns and repeating. It must repeat. Does anything up here repeat? It's non-repeating. Does it end? No. No, it has the dot, dot, dot. So this decimal would be irrational. Uh, 3.89467201315 dot dot dot. Does this repeat? No. No. Does it end? No. So it's irrational. Irrational numbers cannot be written as a fraction. They are non-repeating and never-ending. Rational numbers can be written.